Hello wonderful person, this is Philip and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit more about insight meditation and specifically what I did to address things that came up during my practice. Now, when it first started getting unpleasant, when I first started feeling like I wasn't making any progress and I was getting frustrated and anxious, there are two things that helped me a great deal at that point. First of all, at that point in time, I started to make it a habit to always, whenever I sat down to do inside meditation, to first do about 10 to 15 minutes of loving kindness meditation. So I would never just sit down and start noting, always, whenever I sat down, the first 10 or 15 minutes I would spend simply doing loving kindness meditation and then I would start the noting practice. Next, as I was experiencing a lot of anxiety and frustration, I received this tip from a friend to not just note those emotions as thought or thinking as I normally would because you have those six categories seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, feeling and thinking. A feeling some people also use the word touching instead of feeling because this is supposed to be only a physical feeling. Anyway, so anxiety or frustration in that categorization into the six different sense bases would just be categorized as thinking because frustration is a kind of thinking. Anxiety is a kind of thinking. However, Sometimes it does help, especially when you, when you feel that you are somehow experiencing a block in your meditation, to spend a little bit of time looking at exactly what the nature of that thing is that's distracting you. Now, you have to be careful there. This is a very delicate balance. Because if you look too much into the specifics of every experience, you'll get carried away. And you really, that's what the noting method is designed for, to have focus, to stay with the object, to not get carried away by the content of your thoughts, to not note, ooh, thinking about lunch, or frustration, or anxiety, but to simply note thinking and immediately return back to the primary object, to the breath. Sort of to teach the mind that, yes, there is thinking going on, but we're not going to engage in that thinking anymore. We're going to return to the main object now. However, if you always just do that, if you always just rigidly note thinking and go back to the breath, thinking back to the breath, you run the risk of never actually catching those thoughts or thought patterns or thought processes that are really inhibiting you at the current point in time, that are causing the block. So every now and then, it pays to not just immediately say thinking and return back to the breath, but to take a look at what is actually going on mentally. And if you discover, as I did, that you're feeling a strong sense of frustration and some anxiety coupled with that, note frustration or anxiety. Make that small modification to your labels. Now that doesn't mean that in that session you're just going to go wild and just know ooh, frustration, anxiety, thinking about lunch, worry about the future, peace, happiness. You're not going to know those things because you'll just end up getting carried away. So find a balance. I would say in any particular session, if you're feeling that you're stuck, that you're not making progress, in any particular session, try to find one or two concepts, one or two words, one or two things that are impacting your life and your meditation a lot. For example, frustration, which is possibly going to be one for you also, or anxiety. Note those first and then go back to your usual noting practice. So that was one very helpful thing when it was really difficult. Another thing that is a question that meditators sometimes ask, as you become better, as you practice this noting more and more, you realize that you're noting very fast and you're catching more and more subtle distractions. 
So you'll be sitting there and just nodding, thinking, seeing, thinking, seeing, hearing, thinking, thinking. And it's just going to get very fast. And at some point you may find that this verbalization, even if it's just mental verbalization, just this forming of the word, even in your mind, thinking, is just so clumsy and takes so much effort and so much time that you would be more efficient just simply noticing each sensation, just basically pinging it for a fraction of a second and not even uttering a label anymore, out loud or mentally. When you're at this point, and only when you're at this point, where you're consistently noting and you're not finding yourself sitting there for a couple of minutes and realizing, oh, for the last couple of minutes I haven't noted anything, but I also haven't been on the breath, I've just been away in a train of thought. So when that is not happening anymore, when you're consistently sitting there and noting one note after another, one distraction after another, and always doing this, and you're finding that the noting is too clumsy, at that point it is okay to just let go of the labels, let go of the noting, and simply sink into this mental setup that you have created of finding the distraction, acknowledging it briefly, and returning back to the main object. And you can do that much quicker. You can do that several times a second if you drop the label, the, the word that you associate it with. So you're no longer going to say thinking, 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 thinking. It's going to be more like beep, 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 beep. This can happen. It does not happen to everyone, and it does not need to happen. I don't believe it needs to happen. It happened in my case. That's why I'm talking about this. But if this never happens to you, if you find a very good rhythm and you're strong and consistent, just noting one thing every few seconds, that is fine. You can do that and you can take that all the way. But if you're like me and you're finding that you're noting faster and faster and that the noting itself, the labeling is holding you back, then you can drop the labels and this will probably accelerate your progress. Okay. Well, this is pretty much what I wanted to say in this video. I hope you find this information useful, and I'm looking forward to seeing you again soon. Have a good day.